Today I'm cleaning the intake valves on a 2014 Volkswagen GLI. I'm not going through the whole procedure. Obviously I already have this apart. I'm just kind of showing you what you need to do here. Pull these plates out right here. I already I already scraped this one a little bit. You just pull these plates out and scrape the carbon off of those. And go in here and um, scrape any of the large deposits off that you can get. You have to kind of descale it like you're like a hygienist cleaning teeth or something like that. So what um, you can walnut shell blast, it's a little bit more risky and you need a lot more equipment. If you're just doing this at home, um, you can get it clean enough where the car will be fine with just um, using basic picks, different picks like this, a straight one. This one has a little, this one's a really helpful pick hook. You know, you need this kind of angle. It helps to get kind of behind the valve a little bit. And you just scrape these things as clean as you can possibly get them. Um, they don't have to be shiny, new looking like you do get with a walnut shell blasting. It really makes no difference. I mean, it's nice and it does, you know, on some level, I'm sure it's, you know, it's better, it's cleaner. But by the next oil change, you're going to have a layer of black carbon on your port and your valve. And it's going to look similar to this anyways. So just worry about knocking all the big stuff off and uh, descale the best you can. That's it. Use a shop vac. I have a little uh, pneumatic vacuum that I use that kind of has a small attachment that I can stick in here and suck all the stuff out. If you start using compressed air to blow it around, it makes a huge mess. Um, and then you have to make sure you have everything corked off and it, it turns into a mess. So use a shop vac with a little, a small nozzle to get all of the crap out of there and um, that'll work pretty well. So, this video helps. Thanks.